It's gonna be okay. We'll find him. Well, go find him then. Just try to stay calm. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I guess. Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. But I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick! She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Easy now. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> I'll take that. Go we'll find her before they put a bullet in her head. Where's that girl, Arthur? It's okay, Miss mm -hmm. 
Here's Tilly. Now, let's mm -mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right. Get after them. Yeah. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. That's it. Stay on them. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, you're going to pay. You got it. So we can all have a nice little chat. Yeah. I'll take his horse. He won't just... Comfortable enough for uh, you? First idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. You're coming with me. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. 
We can't take no chances with the likes of you! Yeah. <laughs> It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off of you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. He went for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? This what you wanted? You want more? <laughs> Kill that bastard! Bounty hunting. Bounty hunting. I'm gonna give you the beating your daddy should have done. You ain't. You ain't the law, you know. It's no good. Who's talking now? Huh? a goddamn war. I lost my sweetheart, the cholera, and my leg for goddamn cannonball. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. More they mister. worse than worse. Mister? You always love one for gossip. Jeff Joe Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading Good lies. to you, sir. Lies? Every fool knows the charges Morning. were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. Sir, good morning. How's your talk? Hello, sirs. Morning. Hello. Good morning to you. Yeah. 
interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get What's your own. What's your damn issue? Oh, sorry. Oh, poor baby. Walking around in their pappy's bridge. Just get out of my way. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny he is. <laughs> I told Move. you, fella. The hell you know. Don't mind. Don't make me. Uh, I'm a busy man. Wasting my time. I'm looking for my friend. Yep. That ain't so special. Hey, watch where you're going. You reckless fool! What's the trouble here? I'm tired of taking all this. Hey. <laughs> Hey, y'all. How do you do? Hello there. Good day so far? 